Understanding your colposcopy results. Colpo. This patient resource was adapted by the Society of Canadian Colposcopists, SCC, with the permission of the BC Colposcopy Program. This patient resource was made possible through the support of Merck Canada, Inc. The opinions expressed in this material are those of the authors and do not necessarily reflect the views of Merck Canada, Inc. Low-grade changes are minor changes that usually resolve on their own. High-grade changes have the potential to develop into cervical cancer and are usually treated. It is important that a healthcare provider explains your colposcopy results. They will give you advice on what needs to happen next. In some cases, you will need follow-up or treatment. If not treated, over time, high-grade dysplasia may become cancerous. The most common treatment is the loop electrosurgical excision procedure, LEAP. The LEAP can be done in the colposcopy clinic. The LEAP is a treatment that removes abnormal tissue from the cervix. LEAP treatment uses an electric current that passes through a loop of thin wire to remove abnormal tissue from the cervix. A doctor will look at your cervix using a colposcope, special microscope. The doctor may paint your cervix with a vinegar and or iodine solution to help see areas that are abnormal. Local freezing is used to numb the cervix. A leap is then performed to remove abnormal tissue. You may feel discomfort during the procedure. You may also experience cramping, similar to period cramps. A brown paste may be put on the cervix after a leap to help with any bleeding. You should let your doctor know if you are pregnant. Often a leap can be done after your baby is born. In more than 90% of cases, you will only need one leap. However, if any abnormal tissue remains or recurs, you may need another leap. Many women feel fine after the procedure. If you have cramps, you can use pain medication such as a plain acetaminophen, Tylenol, or ibuprofen, Advil, for pain relief. There may be some light vaginal bleeding or watery vaginal discharge for a few weeks. You should avoid swimming, taking a bath, using tampons, or having sexual intercourse for three weeks. Showering is allowed. Strenuous exercise and heavy lifting should be avoided for one week. A follow-up appointment will usually be scheduled six months after your LEAP procedure. A doctor will review your results and re-examine your cervix with a colposcope, special microscope. There is a small chance of having heavy bleeding or an infection after a LEAP. If you notice any of the following conditions, contact your health care provider immediately. Smelly vaginal discharge, increasing pelvic pain, heavy or prolonged bleeding, or a fever. The long-term risks of a LEAP include cervical stenosis, narrowing of the entrance of the cervix, and a slight increased risk of delivering a baby before its due date. Current studies show that a LEAP does not affect your ability to get pregnant. Treatment may slightly increase the risk of certain pregnancy complications, including miscarriage, preterm birth, and breaking your waters before full term. It is important that you speak to your healthcare provider if you have any concerns. To see all the patient resources in this series, scan the QR code.